Hello, Raul. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hi. You're fine. So what about your day? How was it? Uh, it, it, it was very easy today. Um, I'm, I'm not have a lot of work, so. <laughs> okay, so you didn't have like a lot of work, so it was relaxing. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Do you yes. eat already? What? Do you eat already? Do eat? You eat? Huh? No, uh, not yet. Okay. Do you work from home or do you go to the office? What? What? I can hear you. Yeah. Do you go to uh the office or do you go uh up, do you work from home? Um, both, but the most time uh, in my house. Okay. But uh, Monday I went. And for example, tomorrow I went also, but only tomorrow. Uh, sometimes it's most. Sometimes only the the day in the week that I went is Monday. That I go. That I go. Okay, went is past. Yes. Okay, got it. Okay, so that is cool. I think because you avoid the traffic, right? The traffic is yeah. terrible, so at least you are working from home, so that is better. Uh huh. Okay, so that means that tomorrow you will go. You will go to the office tomorrow. Yeah, to tomorrow I will to go. I will go. I will go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I can see that we also have Edwin. Good evening, Edwin. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so what about your, your day? How was it? Good, so, so, relaxing, tiring. So this, this day, it was very, very busy. Very I have good. two meeting with a client mm -hmm. and I have to speak English with them. Really? Right, yes. And how do you feel? And um, so nervous. Okay, all right. But were you able to speak to the client? Yes. Okay, all right. Excellent. So it was really uh, busy, right? Your day was busy. Yes. Okay, all right. Excellent. So I'm happy that you were able to use the English language outside the classes and everything, right? So that is good, Edwin. Eulise, good evening. How are you? Uh, good evening, teacher. Um, How are you, Ulisse? Um, I feel good. You feel good? And what about your day at work? How was it? Um, it was very, um, very busy. Very is busy. Correct? Yes. Okay. It's very, very busy, my day. Okay. But and uh, all uh, it's right. It okay. had right. It and was okay. It was right. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. And and but now I feel good. You feel good. Okay. That yes. is okay. That's what really matters. Okay. So I'm happy that uh you had a good day. Okay. It was a good day. Yeah. All right, so we are going to start. Good evening, Carlos Dominguez. Good evening, uh, Nelson. How are you guys? Uh -huh. Nelson, Carlos. Well, Carlos, we cannot hear you. I think that we have the same issue. Uh, the one that we had yesterday with your microphone. Mm -hmm. Well, good evening, uh, Hosman. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Great day. Okay, it was a great day. Sorry? It was a great day. Yeah, and 
day off in my job. I'm relaxing in my house. I'm eating, I sleep. <laughs> okay, all right. So you had a really good day. Yeah. yeah. Okay, very good. All right, so we are going to start with today's class. Good evening, Rafael. Well, guys, today we have different things that we are going to cover, okay? Most of them are kind of easy. Those are kind of simple. Um, well, the first thing that we are going to talk about is today's agenda, okay? So today, guys, we are going to start with grammar. And actually, grammar today is going to be about will, okay? Future simple will. And we are going to talk about training in general, okay? And that's why I sent a video to the WhatsApp group because I cannot play it in the class um, because of the copyrights, right? So we cannot play it. That's why I send it to the WhatsApp group, all right? Then we have the speaking time. We also have a grammar quiz. We have vocabulary quiz. We also have the reading quiz today. And at the end, we have the wrap up, okay? So the first thing that we are going to start with is going to be vocabulary, okay? So we are going to start with vocabulary. So as you can see right there, we have a word which is a robot, yeah? What is a robot? What is it? Um, Hosman, help us reading the definition that we have here, please. Okay. A robot is robots is machining the words of people. People use computer to control robots. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Go continue. Okay. Uh, doing housework. Mm -hmm. uh, helping helping the police. Mm -hmm. Caring for people. Okay. Exploring okay. space, add phrase, 15 word. Oh, fighting, yeah. fighting words. Fighting word. Doing. Uh, doing operation. Okay. In education. Okay, doing. 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 Doing operation. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, as Hosman said before, a robot is a machine that works for people. People use computers to control robots, okay? So, well, I don't know if my internet is failing, but yeah, I think that if you cannot hear me, let me know, okay? But okay, so let's continue. So um, I'm going to stop my video for a while, all right? Then we have right here different uh, activities. Okay, as you can see, we have doing housework, helping the police, caring for people, exploring a space as friends, fighting wars, doing operations, and in education. So according to those images that we have right here, which is picture number one. What is it? Picture in number education. One. In education, that is correct. Number two. Yeah. Doing housework. Doing housework. Number three. Caring for people. Caring for people. Number four. Fighting work. Doing operations. Uh, no, in this case, fighting words. Okay. What about number five? Exploring a space. Exploring space. Exploring a space. What about six? Doing operations. Uh -huh. Doing operations. Number seven. Helping the police. Helping the police. Mm -hmm. And what about number eight? As friends. As friends, right? Very good. So now let me ask you, okay? Which jobs do you think? think okay which jobs do you think robots can do better than people um manufacturing manufacturing because Absolutely. because the robots don't have uh, mistakes correct okay in that area that is correct do you think that they um they are good at doing operations like picture number six 
would you trust on a robot? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> okay. I, I know the robots are used in uh, brain operations. Yes. Okay. All right. And let me see. Carlos Arias. Okay. Got it. All right. Um, do you think that robots are better uh, in education? Like picture number one? Not really. I prefer the human. Yes, probably in that area, I think that is better uh, a human being, right? Mm -hmm. What about a uh, waitress in restaurants? Yes. I prefer a human. You prefer a human? Do you think, uh -huh. do you prefer a robot or do you prefer a human uh, in a restaurant as a waiter, uh, waiter or waitress? Which is better for you? Mm -hmm. Do you think that robots um, can replace those type of jobs? Or no? Not really, but they are some uh, mm -hmm. professions that okay. the robots, uh, they will uh, doing better in the future that a uh, human for example right now the 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 mm -hmm. most popular uh, trending about ai the intelligent artificial artificial, and artificial uh, intelligence mm -hmm. artificial intelligence is very uh, how can i say avanzado uh, you can say like advanced Ah, okay. So it's very advanced. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a crazy thing. I yes. I think about that. Well, I think that well, yes, it is really advanced. And there are many things that we don't know, right? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Well, um, I think that. When it comes to payment, right, for companies, uh, it is better to have robots. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes, teacher. For example, uh, in McDonald's and Zona, Zona Rosa. Yes. Wendy's, yes. They have a robot, right? Yeah. They have a robot, I think. I I'm not sure because I haven't visited that, but that place, but. Um, I don't know, right? But I have heard, I have seen videos. Also in, in the National Hospital, I think there is one already. Yeah, I see a TikTok about that. You saw it, it right? Uh, probably yeah. similar uh, at uh, McDonald's or, mm -hmm. or Wendy's. Yes, that is correct. Well, let's see what happens in the future, right? So, um, but I think that robots cannot replace human beings, right? That's what I think. Mm -hmm. But okay. But, so uh, actually, uh, the the robots are very advanced. Yeah. And for example, uh, Raúl says about uh, talk about the IA or IE. Uh, no. IE. A AI. 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 Uh, Raul will talk about AI. And mm -hmm. in this moment, the, I, the AI it can be used uh, for programmer. Okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's uh, just a little creepy mm -hmm. because uh, okay. in my life, I, I never think that what happened. Mm -hmm. Really? But, like that. but actually, uh, could be, and the 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 jobs, the the jobs who que eran antes para personas, o sea, todo está cambiando. Entonces, uno pensaba que nunca iba a perder su trabajo, pero realmente hoy en día 
no es tan seguro. It's very, it's very interesting because I, I read the last year maybe a book about that, and the name of the book is uh, "Salvese quien pueda." Uh, so, so in, in this book, talk about uh, in, in a future, uh, there are some, some, some robots that they. They maybe will do a different uh, profession that they uh, replace the human. But when I when I read the, this book, I think that will be passed in that will do in in some years in future. But right now, I think that is very, very faster. Maybe very I think fast. in in ten years, for example. But right now, I think that that pass in a in a second, <laughs> very faster. In a blink of an eye, right? In un cerrar y abrir yo. Okay. Yeah. No, that is true. That is true, but I think that we need to get um, more skills, right? So you need to be updating yourself with different type of knowledge. So you can get um, probably different type of positions. I don't know. Um, do you know? That's what I think. Do you know who? Uh, what what exists uh yeah who <clears throat> hay una inteligencia artificial que hace arte ya existe really yes yeah if, i don't know if if you if you see some post very popular in facebook maybe the this month about dinosaurs and and yes. In mm -hmm. professions, yes. so all this image that generate with AI, AI, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. artificial intelligence, AI, mm -hmm. AI, yes, AI. Okay, yes, guys. So I think that um, it is very interesting, right? And it is kind of worrying as well because. I mean, uh, as you said before, right? Um, we can lose our jobs if we are not prepared, right? That's why, guys, you need to learn many skills, right? And you need to learn English, okay? But okay, so let's move, okay? Let's move. Um, so we are going to start with the main topic for today, which is future will. When do we use future, guys? When do we use future will? Give me a short explanation, a definition. When do you use will? Mm -hmm. um, yes, uh, for example, we, uh, we have an action with a probability. Okay, very good. Yeah, whenever we have actions with probability. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. somebody else. that probably has a different opinion or somebody else that would like to add up to what Carlos said? When the future is uncertain. Okay, when the future is uh, uncertain, okay. Very good. Uh -huh. So guys, uh, the future will, uh -huh. yes, I will listen. Uh, I could say the will is 50% uh, about, um, about the action. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not, it's not, it's not seguro, not seguro. It's not sure. It's not sure. Okay. Okay, it's not sure, it's not certain, perfect. All right, yes, guys, what you have said, it is correct, okay? All of that is correct. 
So first of all, I would like just to cover the structure, okay? And I think that you already covered this, okay? But let's recall previous knowledge, okay? So we have positive sentences, we have negative sentences, and we also have questions, right? So as you uh, know, a sentence, okay, starts with a subject. Then in this case, we are studying um, future will, okay? So we are going to use will, verb in base form, and this is very important, okay? Why? Because sometimes we make mistakes with the, um, with will. Why? Because we say, I will to do, but no, okay? Look at the structure. We have subject, will, verb in base form. Here we do not have to, okay? It's just verb in base form. So subject, will, verb in base form, and complement. Then we also have the negative sentence. On this one, we can use will not or won't, okay, as auxiliary verbs. It depends, okay? If you want to use will not, it's okay. If you want to use won't, it's okay. It, it is your choice. You decide if you are going to use will not or won't. So we have subject, will not, won't, plus verb in base form and complement. And we also have questions. So with the questions, we start with the auxiliary verb, which is will, then subject, verb in base form, complement, and the question mark. Okay? Yeah, this is the structure. Now, we also have time expressions to identify that we are talking about future will. Because if you remember, we also have going to, which is future as well. But today we are covering will. Yeah. So we have time expressions that help us to identify that we are uh, that we need to use will. For example, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, next week, next month, next year. And now those are really common expressions that we can use either with will or with going to. But in this case, the ones that help us to identify that we need to use will, maybe, probably. Those two, maybe and probably, are just for will, mm -hmm. for future will. Yeah? Maybe and probably. Those are time expressions that we only use with will. Now, we also have a specific situations in which we use will. As you said before, some of you mentioned some of them, okay? But we have three that we have listed, okay? So um, let's see. Rafael, help us reading number one. Uh, number two, please, Carlos Duran. And um, let me see. Number three, Edwin. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> express, express future actions at the moment of speaking. Just decide. Example, I will have a hamburger. Thank you. Number two. Express, express a prediction based on personal opinion or experience possible. Mm -hmm. Example, I think they won't win their next match. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Number three, express future facts possible. Example, he will love your present. Thank you. Okay, guys. As you can see right here, it says, we use will whenever we express future actions at the moment of speaking. So that means just decided. 
For example, and this is whenever we go to a restaurant, right? Whenever you are going to order something, you can say, I will have a hamburger. I will drink soda. So just decide it. Mm -hmm. If I ask you, for example, right now, okay, uh, do you have any plans for uh, this coming Saturday? And probably you don't have any plan, right? So you are going to decide just at the moment of speaking because you don't have any idea about Saturday, okay? So you can say, well, I think I, I will. And you say, will, yeah? You use will mm -hmm. because you just decided. You didn't have any plan. So will is for actions that you decide at the moment of speaking, yeah? Then we also have that will expresses a prediction based on personal opinion or experience. Personal opinion. And look at this, we use this verb. I think, because it's my personal opinion. I think they won't win their next match because they haven't trained enough. It could be, right? I think they won't win their match. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or let's say that you go out and you see that the sky is very cloudy. So you have your personal opinion. You can say, I think it will rain. Because you have evidence, right? And express future fact, something that is possible, but you are not certain, okay? So he will love your present, okay? It could be that he loves your present or no, right? It depends. Future facts that you are not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, remember once again, we do not use two. There is no two in the middle. No hay ningún two en el medio. No vamos a decir nunca, jamás, okay? I will to have a hamburger. Or he will to love your present. Okay, never. Yeah. Do you have any question? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, let's move. Okay, so we have some examples. Hey, Glenda, help us reading positive examples, Nelson, negative examples, and Salvador, questions. A positive example. I will go to the cinema tonight. Uh, he will play tennis tomorrow. They will go to the beach. Thank you. Negative. I will not go to the cinema tonight. He will not play soccer tomorrow. They will not go to the beach. Thank you. Questions? Will you eat pupusas tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Will you buy a snack tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Will you take a shower, a shower tomorrow? Yes. Okay. So you see, very simple, right? It's not difficult. This topic is very easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just remember, whenever we are um, making questions, we need to use the proper intonation. So, will you eat pupusas tomorrow? Will you buy snacks tomorrow? Will you take a shower tomorrow? Okay, the proper intonation, yeah? Okay, perfect. Let's move. Now, let's move and we have some exercises. Okay, uh, let's see. Number one, positive sentence. We? Will help. Will have you. Help you. Number two. I will get you a drink. 
Yes. So, um, if you want to say, te voy a traer una bebida, I will get you a drink. Okay. Okay. Number three. I think our team will win the match. Very good. Match. Number four. I will, I will buy, buy the ticket. I will the buy. Tickets. Perfect. Number five. Maybe we, we, we will stay we at home. We will. Exactly. So we use maybe. We will. Maybe. maybe. Remember, uh, the time expressions, uh, this is because of exams, right? This is about exams because sometimes um, on exams, we evaluate future going to and will. And you sometimes are like, but both are future, right? Which one do I need to use? En los exámenes, cuando se evalúa will y going to, como los dos son futuros, pero recuerde, Cuando usted vea maybe and probably, o también el I think, estos verbos, ok, el maybe probably son expresiones, pero el verbo think, ok, eh, son únicamente para will. Ok, para will. Entonces, si usted tiene alguna duda, ¿cuál utilizar? Y le están diciendo, use futuro going to o will. Ah, pero usted se acuerda que, ok, yo veo que ahí hay una palabra que es Puede ser maybe or probably or I think, porque siempre se dan pistas, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. This is for you to identify. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, negative. What about negative? We? We won't help you. Correct. Yeah. Number two. I won't get a drink. I won't get you a drink. Number three. I think our team won't win the match. Won't win the match. Number four, I I won't buy the tickets. I won't buy the tickets. Number five, maybe we we won't stay at home. Correct. All right, now let's make questions with the proper intonation, guys. Intonation, okay? Number one. Will we help you? Okay. Will we help you? Mm -hmm. Number two. Will I get you a drink? Correct. Will I get you a drink? Number three. Mm -hmm. Will our team win the match? Perfect. Will our team win the match? Okay, number four. Will I buy the tickets? Correct. And number five. Mm -hmm. Will we stay at moment? Perdón, uh, stay at home? At home, okay, perfect, at home, yes. All right, so now, how can you answer it? Yes, I will or no, no I won't. won't. Correct, you see? Easy. Do you have questions? No? Okay, number one, Tom. Tom will get up. Seven tomorrow. At seven tomorrow. At seven tomorrow. Correct. Number two. My dad will My wash dad will his car next week. Wash his car next week. Excellent. Number three. We will make a, a snow next winter. Okay, a snowman next winter. Number four. Mom. We'll cook. Um, we'll dinner, dinner tomorrow. Tomorrow. Excellent. No, number four. Okay, so you will ask, teacher, but mom is not with O. Yes. M-O-M, -M, but M-U-M -M is a slang. But it's mom. Is this a slang? Mm -hmm. Is this a slang? All right. So um, the formal way to say mama, right, is M-O-M. -M. 
But this word is a slang. ¿Qué quiere decir que es slang? That it is informal. ¿Ok? Es informal. ¿Ya? Yeah? Pero eso existe. Por eso que va a haber bastantes textos con la U y no la O. Teacher, this could be in the Spanish uh, like a ma. Like ma. Okay. All right. All right. Number five, Sam. Mm -hmm. Sam will ride his bike next Friday. Okay. Now let's make questions, okay? Questions with number six. Will Mary, will Mary build, build a Sam pastel next tomorrow? Next summer. Next summer. Uh, lo siento. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry. It happens sometimes. I know, okay? Right, so number seven, okay? Number seven, question. Will Nick swim in the sea next summer? Okay, very good. Number eight. Mm -hmm. Will they go camping soon? Excellent. Very good. Number nine. Will the children Will go on a picnic next Sunday? Yes. And number 10. Will James read tomorrow? Excellent. Okay. So now let's move and let's create more questions. But this time I'm going to assign which one. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. Let me see. Anna, number one. Okay. Questions. Anna. Number one, Andrea. Number two, uh, number three, please, Ulisse. Number four, Glenda. Number five, please, um, Wilbert. Uh, will James free tomorrow? Very good. Number two. Number two. Uh, I think that it was Andrea. It's not here? Okay. Glenda? I'm number four. Or two. Okay. Number three? Number three? Will uh, Mr. Black work next Saturday? Okay. Uh, number two, Glenda? Will he go skin next winter? Winter. Winter. Perfect. Eulise, number four. We will. Will we visit our relatives? Relatives. Relative, relative next month. Thank you. And number five, Wilbur. Will he go to London in two days? Thank you. Very good. Okay. Relatives. What is the meaning of relatives? What is the meaning? Parents. Family? Family. Parents? Uh, no. Parents, just mom and dad. Uh, uh, in general. In general, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, relatives in general, parientes, okay? Uh, okay, again, um, Hosman number six, please. Um, Fatima Noemi, number seven. Let me see if we have Blanca. Well, I don't see Blanca today. Uh, Raul, number eight. Susana, number nine. And please, um, Nelson, number 10. Okay, number six, Hosman. Will Polly go to the beach next week? Perfect. Seven. Is Fatima here? Will he okay? Will, will he, he drive, uh, will he drive his his car in today? Perfect. Number eight. Uh, will they drink milk tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Number nine. 
will the children uh, go to the school next autumn? Autumn, perfect. And the last one, number 10. Will they lay the table tomorrow? Okay, perfect. All right, guys, do you have any question about will? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear about this topic? Teacher, what is how? Which one? How? The nine. Otoño? Oh, Oro. Oh. Yes, fall. Oh. Otoño, fall. Autumn is the same as saying fall. It's a synonym. Well, this is the, the, um, the standard word, autumn. But we say fall. Okay, thank you. All right. Autumn. Any other doubt? No? Okay, perfect. All right, guys. So let's move then to um, teamwork, okay? So I think that you all uh, received the link that I sent on the WhatsApp group, right? So in this case, that link is for you to answer those questions. I will give you around five to eight minutes because I need to answer those questions. And once we are done, we are going to come back because we are going to start discussing about training. So I need you to answer, what is training? I need you to look for a definition, create a definition that you understand, right? With your own words. I don't want you to take words from the internet, no, with your own words, okay? What are the specific goals of training? What is the purpose? Yeah. Who are responsible for training? Yeah. Then how can we identify training needs? And what are some training methods? On the link that I sent, you can watch a short video that will give you some ideas. Yeah. So in this case, I will give you from five to eight minutes. You can answer all of them and then we are going to come back. But first, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Remember to use English, okay? English, when you are discussing uh, those type of questions, English, no Spanish, guys, okay? So uh, say present once you hear your name, okay? Uh, just let me... Well, in the meantime, uh, open the class, okay? Open the class, go to the spreadsheet and open it. Okay, here we go. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Blanca, yeah, I haven't seen Blanca today. Eh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you, Carlos Francisco Arias. Um, I think that Carlos Francisco, yes. Okay, um, Cesar Ome Homero Amaya. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Uh, Eulise Torres. Present. Thank you. Fatima Noemi Umaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Glenda Leiva. Glenda, Jose okay. Salvador Bernal, thank you. I'm here. Thank you. Houseman Atilio Serrano. Present. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisette Sanchez. Karen. Catherine Indira. Marlon Oswaldo. Nelson Alberto. I'm here. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen. Susana Milena. Present. Thank you. Walter David. Walter. 
I haven't seen Walter today. Uh, Wilber Alberto. Present. And Jensi Azucena. Well, I think that Jensi, uh, yeah, she is as a listener. Okay. All right, guys. So here we go. Let me just create the breakout room so you can go ahead and practice. Remember, I want you to speak English, okay? No Spanish, okay? English. Okay, guys. So, yes, let's see. How are you going to divide your task? ¿Mm? ¿Cómo se va a dividir su tarea en ese momento? Yeah. Okay, so remember, what you need to do is that you need to answer those five questions. I sent the link to the WhatsApp group. Um, lo que sucede es que yo no puedo mostrar ese video en, el, en la clase por los derechos de autor. Ok, si no, no nos va a dejar eh, compartir el video de la clase. Se nos va a, a bloquear. Ok, so, aquí está el link. Sí. Entonces, vaya hacia el link, pero no lo comparta en la clase aquí, porque si no, siempre va a ser lo mismo. Entonces, eh, vaya hacia el link, vea el video, ok, véalo, y después eh, sacan las respuestas de las preguntas. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok. All right. Ok. Teacher, I can show my screen. Yes. Um, I mean, um, we cannot share the video uh, because of the copyrights. Yes. Yes. And if we I share it, it, yeah, then we are going to have some issues with the video at the end of the class. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah, just because of that, right? So um, if you want, I will leave this breakout room for uh, five minutes, okay? So you can play it. I will make the, the, this, let me see, available. So everyone watch it. Come on, Nelson. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I, I, I will go it. and I will come back. Okay. But make sure you don't have that, that uh, screen. Okay. I'll give you around five minutes. Teacher, sorry, but uh, maybe we could see, we, we could watch the, the, uh, the video. If, if, it's, if this don't record. Ah, but this is that I need to record. Ah, so it maybe. You cannot stop the record. Uh, yeah. No, I, 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 try, I, no huh? I try to say we could see the, we could watch the, the video if teacher watch a, another group. Ah, yes, yes. So I, I will Sorry. leave, okay? I will leave. So you can share the screen, okay? I will come back within five minutes, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Thank okay. you. Thank right. you. Okay. Okay, let me know if you have any questions, okay? Si tiene preguntas, me las ask. No teacher for one moment. Okay, for the moment, everything is clear. Okay, very good.
skills. Improve. 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 Uh, so you you do a pro uh, a training. Okay. And I think yeah. it's when someone new or a, a new employer eh, entra, no sé cómo se dice, get a job. Mm -hmm. So someone has encargarse, no sé cómo se dice. Alguien se encarga. Mm -hmm. Someone is de entrenarlo, de darle una introducción. It's like introduce a new job. Mm -hmm. I think so. You can say that someone is responsible of uh, training new personnel, right? Mm -hmm. um, new hires, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I say that uh, before. Mm -hmm that I, I hear that's war in different companies mm -hmm. when they hire a new person, but mm -hmm. first the, the person do a, a, a training program mm -hmm. after that they hire in the company and the training program can uh puedo decir dura tanto tiempo o sea last, no me entiendo cómo ¿Ah? uh, that last that last 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 the training program last. that's uh, for for example three months mm. and after that if the person is good for the company mm -hmm. they hire they hire the person yeah mm -hmm. it's like a it's like a internship but i think it's different yes that is correct right mm. Mm -hmm. yes very good yeah, there are many companies that actually do that, right? That they uh, have yeah. different uh, stages, right? Uh, stages in your um in your career path inside the company. You start as a trainee, then you move uh to junior, I think, then senior and, and like that, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, that is correct. Okay, which question are you discussing right now? Uh, the first. Oh, the first one. Okay. What is yeah. training? So what do you have? What is training for you guys? For me, it's a way to... A way that you can improve your skills, jobs, mm -hmm. or the way to... Uh, uh, free research new uh, skill that you can learn. Okay. Yeah, I think that similar that a training is is a way to improve and a specific skill. Okay, it's a way to improve. Okay. Yes. All right. So continue with number two. What are the specific goals? At least two specific goals for training. Mm -hmm. In the video, they mentioned three okay. capability, okay, uh, city, mm -hmm. and productivity. 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 Yeah. Do you receive training uh, at the workplace? Do you receive training in your company? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. And who are responsible for training? The supervisor. Oh, supervisor. 
In the supervisor. video, say supervisor, but in the job's position is your boss, maybe. Okay, your yeah, boss. Yeah, in my case, a uh, lead, a lead in, in, in the area. Okay. Great. And also, uh, could be human record. Resource. Human resources. Resources? Mm, could be. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. And how can we identify training needs? For interview, questionnaire, questionnaries, uh, interviews, uh -huh. evaluation, evaluation, of the people, assessments, right? That is correct. Mm -hmm. And what are some training methods that you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe a exposition of topic. Really? Okay. Yeah. Or in my or... case, mm -hmm. it's like a. This is fabrica, like a factory. 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 And I, I went. Yes. To the to the factory and I saw all the process mm -hmm. that they they do no. yes so they follow yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. they follow so mm -hmm. first I I see how function function the things in the factory and yes. then I I went to the office the officina no yeah to the office yeah to the office and they make they made me a test a quiz mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about what i learned all right mm -hmm. okay very good let's go back to the main room okay i think that you all finished so let's go back yeah uh, okay let's go Okay, well, let's wait for the other ones. Just let me share my screen. Okay, guys, um, well, Susana is not there. Elise, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, guys, Um. so let me see. Elise, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Elise, can you please let us know what is training for you? Okay, uh, training is uh, about uh, someone gave me some abilities or some uh, specific uh, specific um, activities about a uh, job. Okay. Or, right. or, or different situation, I don't know. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, somebody else, what is training, guys? What is training for you? What did you discuss? Mm -hmm. What is training? What is the definition of training? The training is the process that the company reflects the needs of the employees. Okay. The training. Okay. Mm -hmm. The needs. The needs of the employees. Okay. Yes. All right. And what are the specific goals of training? What do you think? Uh -huh. What are the specific goals of training? Well, you know, you you are receiving a training right now. This is a training, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe um, productivity. Productivity. Uh, capacity. Mm -hmm. Capacity, okay. Capability. Capability. Mm -hmm. And who are responsible for training? A uh, supervisor. The supervisor, who else? The boss. Mm -hmm. The boss. Boss, okay. Mm -hmm. Communication, maybe the human resources. 
human resources. That is correct, okay? They are the ones in charge of trainings. What about how can we identify training needs? Meeting. Meetings, okay. Mm -hmm. Questionnaires. Questionnaire. Interview. Interviews. That is correct, guys. And what are some training methods that you know? How are you trained in your company? How? Maybe, maybe complete uh, uh, some tutorial about a subject, mm -hmm. about the, the position, and then speak about it. Okay. Yes, that is true. Uh-huh. Capacitation mm -hmm. of the specific topics. Okay. Like okay. with your responsibilities. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Videos about motivation as well. Motivation as well. Okay. Maybe out of the company. Out of the company. Aha, uh -huh, that is correct. You have mentioned something really important. Mm -hmm. That some trainings are not just inside a company, right? You may go to another place, right, etc. Mm -hmm. You use the working team. You use worksheets, okay. That is true. Yes. Okay, guys, very good. So the training uh, in the company, trainings are really important, okay? Because in that way, you are going to enhance what is the meaning of enhance yeah i have a question oh yes which is the difference between capability and capacity Algo capacity así. and capability uh -huh. See. Sí. um well in this case capacity and ca uh, capability mm, capacity is whenever we talk about objects or things right so in this case, the capability is about your skills. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we use both terms interchangeably. Se utilizan intercambiablemente. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Very good. So then, what is the meaning of enhance? What is enhance, guys? What is it? Maybe when you have a good ideas or you have ideas for uh, solve, uh, solve a problem. Okay. All right. Improve. Mm -hmm. Like improve. Improve. All right. So enhance means improve. It's the same thing. So this is for you to enhance your vocabulary. Okay. Instead of using improve, you can use enhance. That is the same. What is the meaning of lesson? Lesson? It's reduce. Excellent. Reduce, decrease. Okay. So lesson is like disminuir, minimizar. So trainings are important because we can lessen risks. Minimizamos riesgos, right? Mm -hmm. Lessen, disminuir. Okay. What is the meaning of output? Mm -hmm. Production. Production. Result. Right. Um, this word output has uh, many meanings, right? Different meanings. Depends on the context. Así como puede ser salidas, okay, producción. Entregables. Resultados. Um, yes. It could be a synonym. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What is the meaning of appraisal? What is appraisal? Mm -hmm. Appraisal? No? You? Evaluación. Evaluación. Eh, yes, estimación, una valoración. Uh -huh. Feedback. 
a feedback, yes, appraisal could be, and apprenticeship. Apprenticeship, what is it? Mm -hmm. What is apprenticeship? Apprenticeship, guys, is the same as um, a saying the learning process. Apprenticeship is aprendizaje, formación. Learning process, el aprendizaje. Yeah. It is a synonym. Yes. Okay. Let's move. And today you are going to learn how to, um, I would say, create an email. Okay. So look at this. It says, Create a note, in this case, an email, requesting training. Okay, I need to request training. Okay, following the instructions. In this case, what instructions? Okay, I need to use this, um, I would say this, um, this example, okay? So you are going to create an email, you can invent, all right? Then a subject, yeah. So the the purpose, right, of the of the of the email, and then I need to please uh, write your email, okay. And as you can see, we have this example. Good morning, team. I am writing to request your approval, okay. I am writing to request your approval to attend a training for the name of the training. You are going to invent, okay? The name of the training, when the training is going to be developed, in this case, on July 17th, which has a duration of how many hours? 10 hours, 40 hours, 50 hours, right? The training will be developed in the center. Okay, where is going to be developed? Where? Okay, I also include the price. Yeah, then the price of the training. All right, and then thank you for taking the time to look into my request. You need to give thanks. And then sincerely and your uh, signature. Okay. I need to please create an email and then I need to please send a picture to the WhatsApp group. Please, okay? So I will give you around five minutes, eight minutes, okay, for you to create this email. Make sure you follow the punctuation marks, okay? Quiero que siga los signos de puntuación, los puntos y finales, okay? That's what I'm going to evaluate. Look at this. Después de, sinceramente, mire, va una coma. Okay. So, let's see. Um, and then we are going to move to, to the speaking time. Okay. We also have the quizzes. But first, we are going to finish with this, with the, uh, with the email. Okay. So, let me recreate the rooms. I'm going to recreate the rooms so you can work with somebody else. And here we go. Mm. Okay, guys. So how was your day, Anna? My day was uh, hard. Difficult, busy? Difficult. Eh, maybe it's hard. Tiring? Tiring, okay, it was tiring. But today is, um. oh yes. Um, today is uh Thursday, right? No, today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh my God! Can you imagine? Okay, so today <laughs> is Wednesday, right? So tomorrow is Thursday. We're almost on Friday, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. 
Then, um, but it was okay at the end of the day, Anna. It was good. It was. All right. And what about your day, Susana? How was it? My day? Yes. My day it was very exciting. Really? Why? Because I went to uh, interview for a new job. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. And the the, the, the person uh, accept me. Okay. Congratulations, Susana. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. That's the reason why I'm not concentrated. I'm not focused <laughs> because okay. I'm excited. <laughs> really? <laughs> for the new yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so we are pretty sure that you are going to do a great job, okay? Yeah, very good. And you, Carlos, how was your day? Uh, teacher, uh, I did a tiring, a tiring job. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, the different activities uh, uh, for my team. Okay. Uh, I am a supervisor the quality control. Okay. Uh, and company the the shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, in the garment bottoms and tops. All right. So you you really had a busy day, Carlos. I think that if you are a supervisor, your days are always busy, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. sure. Yes. Anna as well, right? So always busy. Okay, very good, guys. You can share your screen if you want, okay, to complete the email. Yeah. So, okay. yes, let me see. Let me go to another room, okay? Very good, guys. Okay. 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 It's a really easy email. How was your day, Glenda? Ah, so tired. Okay. Tiring? Really? Tiring. Tiring. Okay. Yes. I I'm imagine. Sleeping. Yes, I'm I imagine. Sleeping. And tomorrow the same thing, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. And what about your day, Eulise? Good? It was good? My day? Yeah. It was very busy, but it was good. It was good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, continue. Well, I, I, I already asked Edwin at the beginning of the class, okay? But yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Human resources. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, to participate. Right. Approval to participate in to a participate. training? Yeah, the training, the English. Okay. A tra training. A training? Yeah. Or, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Not training a course of English. Of English. Oh, course in this of... case, you can say an English course. Yes, 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 yes correct. Very good. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> English course. Course. Uh, okay. This course. This course will be uh, will be uh, developed. Okay. Develop is the same of impartido. Yes. No, um, develop means desarrollado. Uh -huh. So yes, okay. impartido. Yeah. Will be developed. Developed uh, by uh, some an example for the 
the business, the, the, like uh, in Safor, another example. Yeah, create like a name of a company. Yeah, uh -huh. a new company. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, for example, uh, March. Oh, March. Uh -huh. so. uh, Yes, I'm checking your your right now. I just got it. It says hello there. I would like to request a training for graphic designing. Okay, on July twentieth, which has a duration of okay, which has a duration of of eighteen hours. Off. Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And let me see. It says, um, I okay, the training will be developed remotely. Okay. From my home. Um, okay. If you say remotely, it means at home, okay? Okay. So yeah, you can omit from my home. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, I also include the price of it, which is $200 as requested. Thank you a lot for taking the time to look into my request. Simply, Raul. Okay. Um, all right. Yes, I would like to request a training. I, I would like to request so um, aquí estamos diciendo como quiero pedir un training para diseño gráfico, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just remember designing, okay? With ING. Okay, graphic designing on July 20th. Which which has duration of right of. now about of mm -hmm. of hours yes of 18 hours yeah mm -hmm. then the other part is yeah in is the case of the training will be developed from my house, only that, or you can say the training will be developed uh, from from home, or you can okay. say, yeah, or you can say the training will be developed remotely. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. From home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> okay, let me see. I would like to request a train for graphic. Ah, I forgot the signing. Signing, okay. <laughs> With ING, or that, mm -hmm. right? Yes, correct. <laughs> okay. I will let you record the training of the design on July 20th, which has a duration, mm -mm, which has a duration of. Ah. <laughs> okay. Has a duration of about. No, just of. In what? About is um like saying acerca. Only, only right, uh, which has a duration of 
18 hours. And the hours. Mm -hmm. Like, let me see. Let's see which else. Correct. Of eighteen hours. Mm -hmm. And what happened if I if I write which has a duration of about the the time? It has a duration of about. Mm, it's not correct because we have two prepositions right there um, and it is Spanish acerca de, right? Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Yes, you can say like it has a duration because if you are giving the specific uh, word it has a duration so that means that you know the length sabe lo largo del, del training, right? So that's why you need to be really specific. And you need to say, which has a duration of 20 hours, 30 hours, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. I have a question. Yes. For example, he said that the uh, has a duration of 18 hours, right? See? Sí. Yes. Uh, but I can say the, the duration for this training is 18 hours, for example. The duration of this training is taking 18 hours. Or you can say the duration of this training will take 18 hours. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Como se va a tomar tantas horas, ¿ok? Yes. Ok. ¿Any other question? No. No right now, ok. All right, so let's wait around two minutes because the other ones are still working on their email. Okay, yeah. Okay, let me just check their progress. Give me one second, guys. The, or, or, the, or, the, or the hotel? In the office? No. Maybe, the hotel. but I want to read a specific place, uh, the uh, Teacher, how do you say sala de capacitaciones? Training room. Okay. Training room. Yes, the training room. In the develop. Develop. Yes. In the training room. Training. Training. Without G. Training uh -huh. room, correct, like that. Okay, the names is okay. I also I also include the price mm -hmm. of it which which is puede ver mi okay. petition. Okay. Okay, apart. Uh, sincere, sincerely, I don't know what. Sincerely? Sincerely. R E L Y. Mm -hmm. uh, your name. Apart your name or coma. coma. The T two. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
the team too. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. No way. <laughs> um, the spelling of sincerely. The spelling. S i n c e r e l y. R I L Y. Put this I. Remove the letter T. Sorry. Okay. Now let's see. A training for the next week. Mm -hmm. Training for the next week. Okay. I am writing to remind you. Remind you about Bingo. about the approval of of the training for English customer service. Yes, I am writing to remind you about the approval of that training. That training. Mm -hmm. The training. For, mm, for English customer service. Okay, English with capital letter. E, capital letter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Customer Carlos service. Carlos tell us that. Uh, yes. Okay, English uh, customer service. Okay. This training, this training, uh, will... Is dated. Está. Eh, Como agendado. Está agendado. Si está, uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Is dated on March 8th, mm -hmm. which has a duration of four weeks. The training will be developed on. Wow. <laughs> no. Let's say online. 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 You can say online or virtually, but the, the standard work is online. Mm -hmm. I also include the price of it, which is 120 as your request, sir. Thank you for taking the time to look at my questions. Okay. The team too. Okay. Um, just where it says sincerely, it is S I N C E R E L Y. How do you pronounce that? Sincerely. 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 Yeah, sincerely. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, e. Very good. Now, yes, send it to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Let me see. Okay. You can use uh, Shift, Shift plus uh, Windows logo and plus S. Plus S. Yeah. Uh, plus B. A variant. Okay. Wow. Perfect. Oh my God. Uh, Anna's training is really expensive. $900. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Because I think that you all are done. Let's go back. Thank you. Okay. Sir. Yes. Thank you. And let's stay the, the quiz. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. Mm. Okay, guys, 
So very good. I was checking your uh, emails. Okay. I can see that most of you did an excellent job. Okay. There are some things that we need to best regards. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Guys, right now what we are going to do is that we are going to take the vocabulary quiz. Okay. So let me let me send the link right here, okay, in the chat. And if you are uh, on the spreadsheet, look for it. It says vocabulary, okay, that one. And the passcode is grammar. This one is about vocabulary, okay, vocabulary. And then we are going to take the reading. But first of all, that one, okay. Once you are done, let me know. Okay, cuando ya haya terminado, me dice, porque vamos a pasarnos a reading. Okay. Okay, guys. The grammar, please. Okay, well, it's not grammar, it's vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary. This is about vocabulary. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Hold on. Very good. Don't teach you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's wait for the other ones. This is other quiz. Yes, the, the vocabulary. No, this is the same. Okay. Yeah, it is the same. Yeah. Okay. I'll give, uh, let me see, um, two minutes, okay? For all of you to finish. Done. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Son dos quiz. No, just one. I resend the link. Yo volví a entrar. Ah, don't worry, que... it's okay. I mean, don't worry, just close it. Okay, thank you.
Okay, 10 seconds, okay, for the ones that haven't finished, 10 seconds. And, okay, guys, so submit your answers and let's take the other one. The other one is about reading. We are going to do the same um, as yesterday, right? That I showed the reading here uh, on my screen. You need to read, right? And then you are going to answer it. This one is kind of long, a little bit, not that much. Okay, I guess. So reading. So here we uh, here we go. The link, that one, and the passcode is reading. Okay, reading. And let me, let me share the screen, okay? So open it, open the link, and the reading paragraph is this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll give you, you know, four minutes. Okay, one minute. Finish the chair. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, 
let's see. Wilmer, help us reading the first paragraph. Carlos Dominguez, uh, the second paragraph. And the last paragraph, let me see. We haven't heard today. Let me see. Susana, okay? Okay. Uh, hi, uh, my name is John. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is John Smith. I am 19 and I'm a student college. I student at college in a college. Mm -hmm. I go to college in New York. My favorite courses are geometry, branch, and history. History. English is my hardest course. My professors are very friendly and smart. It's my second year in college now. I love it. Thank you. I live I live in a big house on Ivy Street. Mm -hmm. It's a near college campus. I share the house with three other students. Their names are Bill, Tom, and Paul. We help each other with homework. On the weekend, we play football together. Thank you. I have a younger brother. He just started high school. He is 14 and lives with my parents. Mm -hmm. They live on Mulberry Street in Boston. Sometimes they visit me in New York. I'm happy when they visit. My mom always brings me sweets and candy when they come. I really miss them too. I really miss them too. Perfect. Was it difficult this reading? No, right? No. Piece of cake for you. Right, so easy. I, I I would I will make sure I, um I look for difficult ones. Okay, all right. So let's move to a stop the bus. Okay, we are going to play item in the office, verb in past participle, and fruit or vegetable. Okay, those three. So. Let's play with three letters, okay? The first letter is going to be letter A. You have one minute, okay? So hurry up, one minute. Item in the office, verb in past participle, and fruit or vegetable. Fruit or vegetable. Of the box. Okay, let's see. Uh, archive, attendant. Okay. okay. Apple. An apple. Okay, so Sana. All right. Very good. Okay, so you get one point. All right. Next letter. With the letter, very easy. Okay. S. Letter S. Stop the bus. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, eating office, share. Mm, not exactly, Nelson. <gasps> no. No. Why? Because chair is with C. <gasps> sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry, okay? Sorry, sorry. 
Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Ana. Let's see, Ana. Okay. Uh, scanner. Can air. Okay. Strawberry. Strawberry. Okay. And said. Said. Uh huh. Said. Okay. Yes. Very good. Susan and Anna. And the boys who is representing. Okay. Boys. All right. So let's see. With the letter, this one is easy as well, guys. Letter B. Okay. Letter B. Stop the boss. Okay, let's see, Susana. Bottle. A bottle, okay. Boat. Boat, okay. And banana. And banana, okay, very good. Okay, uh, we're going to play with one more, okay? So with the letter, well, not that one, no, okay? That one is so easy, okay? With the letter M. The bus. Okay, Raul, let's see. Uh, in the office with um, mouse. Mouse, okay, yes. The verb uh, make. Okay. Make. And the fruit mangoes. 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 Okay, remember that this one is item. 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 Okay, next letter. With the letter. P, letter P, easy. Stop the host. My God, Susana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Oh, uh, item in the office, pencil. Yes. Uh, very fast participle. Put, put, no sé. Uh, put, yes. Put. And pineapple. 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 Okay, very good. Excellent. Yes. Okay, the last one. The last one. Let's see if Susana gets this one as well, okay? Um, okay, with the letter O. With the letter O. With the letter O. That one was, uh, well, it is kind of difficult, probably the item in the office, but you need to be creative. Okay. Stop the boss. Okay, let's see, Susanna. <laughs> uh, I think coordinator. 
like computer? No. 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 Okay. Ah, oh, pues no. <laughs> okay. Organizer. Okay. Could be. Could be. Office in supply. Office supplies. Mm -hmm. I want yes. Office supplies. Okay. You can also aha uh -huh, a verb in past participle. This I don't found the fruit orange, but orange. the verb I don't rem remember anything. Nobody <laughs> observed. Open. Observed. Okay. Oh my god. So, uh, yes. Uh -huh. Guys, how do you say adornos? Ornaments. Ornaments, right? You can find ornaments in the office. Mm -hmm. Also, probably open folders, right? Old paper, I don't know, right? You need to be creative, okay? Of things that you can find in the office. Okay, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Um, please try to study verbs, okay? Verbs. And the only person that, please stay with me, Susana, okay? The other ones, thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow. Go ahead and rest, okay? okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Good night. Okay, bye-bye, guys. Take care. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Okay, Susana. So, this is a short space, right, for us to have the feedback. Yeah, because we haven't had it. No lo hemos tenido, Susana. Entonces, este día lo vamos a tener. Eh, bien, Susana. Más que todo, el feedback, would you like me to speak in English or in Spanish or half and a half? Mm, Spanish. Spanish, ok. Yeah. All right. So, muy bien. Bueno, primero que nada, el feedback es corto, ¿verdad? Más que todo es para poder conocer su opinión, cómo se ha sentido con las clases, eh, si tiene alguna observación de las clases, quiero preguntarle qué le parecen las dinámicas de las clases. Eh, quiero saber también cuánto tiempo tiene estudiando el idioma, ¿okay? si lo ha estudiado siempre con nosotros o tal vez ha ido a, otro, eh, a otra institución. Entonces, en este caso, eh, bueno, primero que nada, eh, ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo se ha sentido con las clases? Bien, la verdad es que me gustan un montón porque son bien dinámicas. Okay. Entonces, de hecho, sí estuve en un curso presencial uh -huh. como tres meses, pero no sé, no sentía que aprendía tanto como en estos cursos que la mayoría de personas dicen que online no se aprende, ¿verdad? Pero siento que es bien dinámico y los temas son uh -huh. eh, fáciles para interactuar entre otros, porque en los cursos que asistía, los temas eran qué opinamos acerca del medio ambiente o de en el futuro, cómo crees que sea la vida. Entonces eran temas que uno tenía que estudiar o saber más, más, más vocabulario. Okay. En, cambio, en, en esta clase son temas bien cotidianos y, y chivos, como por ejemplo, qué preferís, esto, aquello, entonces se puede debatir y se interactúa, hasta nos reímos en grupo y es bien chivo porque intentamos hablar y nos reímos con nuestras opiniones, aunque no está perfecto el vocabulario, pero intentamos eh, entendernos, entonces eso me gusta. Ok, perfecto, excelente, bien. Eh, bueno, ¿cuánto tiempo tiene exactamente estudiando el idioma? ¿Únicamente tres meses o ya tiene más tiempo? Mm. Quizás seis meses. Seis meses. Pero uh -huh. de seis meses, ¿cuánto los ha hecho con nosotros? El primero que tuve fue con Insafor, pero era, se llamaba, ay, no, speak, speak English, okay. la academia creo que sí se llamaba. Entonces con ellos hice tres meses, creo yo, y después fue que ya no pude por los horarios que tenía. Entonces me pasé a clases presenciales en otra academia y no, no fue tan bueno como los cursos en línea de Insafor. Ok, muy bien. Entonces ese es primer mes que se está con nosotros. Sí. Ok, excelente, Susana. Bien. Eh, bueno, ya me comentó cómo se, se ha sentido con las dinámicas que hacemos, ¿verdad? Con los de la clase. 
Si usted ya notó, pues eh, como usted lo dice, al menos pues eh, en este módulo lo que tratamos de hacer es que ustedes eh, traten de sí como esforzarse un poquito más porque eh, recordemos que los temas siempre van a ir eh, siendo un poco más complejos a medida que vayamos avanzando. Sin embargo, es importante que ustedes también tengan vocabulario. Entonces, tratamos de hacer de todo un poquito vocabulario, speaking, lectura, eh, que ustedes escuchen audios, que lean, que creen. Entonces, eh, básicamente, pues, eh, que me alegra que le gusten bastante las clases, porque en realidad, pues, ese es el propósito, que el estudiante se sienta bienvenido a las clases, ¿verdad? Y que también sí. aprendan. Entonces, eh, pues, me siento muy feliz que usted se sienta muy contenta en nuestras clases. Ahora, eh, cuénteme cuál es el motivo principal por el cual usted está aprendiendo inglés. ¿Cuál es su meta? Para aplicarlo algún día en un trabajo. Aplicarlo en mi trabajo y poder trabajar ya sea en línea o ir a otro país a, a llevar mis conocimientos, pero ya en otro idioma, ¿verdad? Excelente. Actualmente usted estudia eh, en la universidad o... Sí, estoy ahorita en el trabajo de graduación, en la tesis. Ok. ¿Cuál es su carrera? Arquitectura. Excelente, ok. En realidad el idioma inglés eh, abre muchísimas puertas, ¿verdad? Sí. Y más que todo en diferentes áreas, en ese caso que usted está estudiando arquitectura, eh, le va a abrir muchísimas puertas. Sí. El inglés. Uh -huh. sí. Tengo el sueño de ir a supervisar algún proyecto en otro país. <risas> ok, excelente. Ajá. En realidad, eh, pues usted lo puede lograr, ¿verdad? Si usted pues, se pone las pilas desde ahorita, ¿verdad? Que eh, básicamente pues está, no sé si ya ha ejercido su carrera o la está ejerciendo en ese momento, ¿verdad? Y sí, ahorita. Uh -huh. Excelente. Entonces usted tiene el, la oportunidad de ir puliéndose, ¿verdad? Sí, e ir avanzando. Y más que todo, si tenemos un idioma inglés, pues eso es excelente. Usted va a tener como las habilidades que eh, en ese mundo, ¿verdad? Laboral, en ese momento, en la actualidad, uh -huh. se necesitan, Susana. Eh, en su tiempo libre, ¿qué hace? Dormir. <risa> lo único que hago es estudiar, entonces lo que, lo que quiero ya es como dormir. <risa> okay. Sí, sí, Susana. Sí. Descanso. <risa> eh, cuando se trata, se trata del idioma inglés, ¿qué es lo que se le dificulta a usted bastante? ¿Cuál es como su uh, área de, de mejora? Lo que se me dificulta quizás aprenderme el vocabulario, en la pronunciación, porque si, digamos, en el trabajo yo pongo audios en inglés y yo los entiendo y estoy trabajando y escuchando, ¿verdad? Y lo entiendo, pero al momento de yo querer decirlo es un poco complicado porque ya mi mente como que tiene que traducirlo y ordenarlo e intentar descifrarlo en inglés cuando, cuando hablo. Okay. Ajá, eso que, ok, y siente que en las clases se ha podido desenvolver un poquito más. Sí, un montón. Por ejemplo, ahora se estaba hablando con un amigo. Siempre yo paso hablando sola. <ríe> Soy loca. <ríe> Entonces siempre es en inglés. Y me he dado cuenta de que últimamente es más, como más fluido cuando yo comienzo a hablar conmigo y comienzo a... Ya no me cuesta tanto no me tardo tanto pensando, sino que ya sé ordenarme un poquito más rápido las ideas. Sí. De hecho, recuerdo cuando la primera clase que se conectó, ¿verdad? Cuando eh, le pregunté, sí. sí, recuerdo que tal vez eran los nervios, pero Ajá. el cambio que ha tenido de la primera semana a ahorita, el cambio sí. ha sido bastante. Lo mismo, lo mismo pienso. Antes mis respuestas eran como sí, no. Y un pequeño complemento, tal vez, ahora sí ya intento como uh, expresarme un poquito más. Sí, lo he notado, ok, entonces eso pues es súper bueno, ok, eso es súper bueno que eh, vaya como avanzando y que usted misma se ponga a hablar en inglés porque eso que usted hace le ayuda bastante, ok. Sí. Es muy bueno, así que la felicito que haga eso en su tiempo libre ¿verdad? y no lo deje de hacer porque eso es como... <risa> Una de las técnicas que en realidad ayuda bastante. Aunque me vea loca. <risas> Aunque nos veamos así, pero en realidad le va a ayudar. Va a ver que en algún momento usted ya va a estar pensando en inglés, va a soñar en inglés, porque de tanto estar pensando en el idioma, de tanto estar pensando, ya va a empezar a soñar hasta en inglés. 
Entonces, okay. es muy importante que lo continúe haciendo y que no pierda la motivación, ¿verdad? Que tiene, okay. porque tiene una motivación muy grande y eso es muy bueno, pues, que la tenga, ¿verdad? Sí, Ahora. Tengo una duda. Eh, por ejemplo, si decido cambiarme de trabajo, ¿cómo sería el proceso con, con el AFP y todo eso? Sí, en ese caso tendría usted que eh, informar, ¿verdad?, al, al departamento de administración que usted se va a cambiar de empleo. Entonces, ellos van a hacer, pues, la, el papeleo, ¿verdad?, y le van a pedir ciertos documentos a usted. Eh, oh. Sin embargo, si eso es eh, directamente con administración, de igual manera ella, ellos lo pueden ayudar, ¿verdad?, con el proceso. Ajá. Es que no quiero como dejar de asistir, entonces, pero quería saber si podían darme alguna solución o no. Sí. Sí, yo creo que sí hay una solución, entonces eh, le voy a, a, bueno, si quiere lo que puedo hacer es que puedo informar al a departamento de administración para que se contacte con usted, eh, la persona pues que, que nos apoya, ¿verdad? Y que le brinde más información acerca de eso. Ok, okay. vaya. Ahora, con lo de la plataforma, ¿cómo, cómo está? Eh, ¿le ¿Tiene problemas con la plataforma? ¿Ha tenido dificultad con lo, uh, los ejercicios? ¿Las tareas? No. Solo que la última semana, si no la hice, se me olvidó enviarlo. Ok. Entonces, sí, me he retrasado una semana en eso. Entonces, bueno, en ese caso, pues, mi feedback para usted, Susana, es, pues, positivo, ¿verdad? Eh, me gusta bastante su actitud. Esa actitud que usted tiene es muy buena, ¿verdad? Ese, um, esa gana de aprender, ¿verdad? Y que siempre se está con una buena disposición. ¿Verdad? Cuando uno le pregunta, usted opina y siempre que yo entro a su salón, cuando estamos en los break rooms, siempre está participando, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es muy importante, la felicito bastante porque esa es la actitud que usted debe de tener y esa es la actitud de un estudiante que de verdad quiere aprender. Entonces, la felicito, ¿verdad? Porque en realidad es bien importante tener una actitud positiva, ¿verdad? Y abierta pues al cambio, ¿verdad? A, a, a poder eh, adaptarse al entorno, en ese caso en inglés, usted sabe que es normal que nos cueste al principio, pero ya después nosotros ahí vamos. Así que la felicito, no pierda la motivación, ¿verdad? Eh, estamos muy felices que esté estudiando con nosotros. Entonces, así que eh, vamos a mandar toda la información que me ha compartido para que se puedan comunicar con usted y le puedan brindar alguna solución. Ok, okay gracias. Bye. Entonces, cualquier pregunta, eh, cualquier duda, pues no duden en hacérmela, me la puede hacer a mi eh, WhatsApp. O la pueden okay. mandar grupo, como ustedes sé. Yo siempre. Ah, okay. ok. Bueno, gracias. Gracias. Bueno, buenas noches. Ok, buenas noches. Good night. Ok. Bye. Bye bye.